reticulated python inside this crate just arrived at the St. Augustine alligator farm. Let's do it. And she needs to be measured, but it takes seven people just to hold the 140-pound squirmy serpent. Oh, man. So strong. You cannot believe. Did you bring a wide enough Yeah. 10,000 muscles these guys have. Exert tremendous force. Brady Barr from National Geographic leads the measuring task. Difficult to measure a snake for obvious reasons. Okay. All right, let's put her in the tube. You ready? It's a long tube with measurements on the side. Now, ideally, you'd want a smaller tube, just a little larger than the diameter of the snake, so she couldn't coil. It is as if she heard him say that. Oh, wait, she's coming back. Is she coming all the way back? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay, plan B, run a rope down her back. Hold that right there for me, wait. Thanks. And then measure the rope. 18, 18, 20, 21. It's like 21 feet, 9 inches. That makes her one of the largest snakes in captivity. This snake was probably a little bigger around when she was captured because since she has been captured, she has laid 60 eggs. There are a lot of places that claim to have a 20-foot snake, but they'll never measure them with cameras rolling. But cameras were rolling and a crowd had gathered to see a giant snake that they may never see anywhere else. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, your news leader.